Let's see, what do we got here? Probably a crack from the deal, to be honest. Okay. We have uh, stuff over here to wait here. I have no idea where I'm heading. I don't even remember. Okay, well, this one oil car's got 10. Okay, that's disconnected. That one's. Reporting more. Yeah. There's someone in my cap. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Um, I might need to click refresh on this and then try. Yeah. Typing in there. Yeah, that will usually oh. help. So where's this? Oh, no, I do not to? need this. Uh, well, that one can actually go back to where it's wittier. So okay, can, I'll use the turn table. Because I, f I got people off of it there that were going to a lark, uh, because basically yeah. the one was terminating there. But that's the thing, like, you can force the people off the train. Yeah. Although, I don't know that's why, on my end, it's showing passengers going to uh, stations that we don't service yet. It's showing, it's showing Dill, nine people to Dillsboro, two people to Andrews, nine people to Almond, eight people to Silva, two people to Nantahala. Like, we don't service any of those locations yet because you don't have that track up. I don't know why the freaking station is showing to those. Uh... Oh, shoot. I don't know. What am, am I? I don't know. Those are active crews. Locomotives, P43, 10 Pacific, okay. Um, shoot, okay, who is, who's over here sent by the solvent? There we go. <laughs> you, oh, you did the turn are, for me. Who are you? Yes. Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> Alright, because right now I'm sitting in number four. I'm driving it right now. Where? I'm actually going so to take control of number three. Uh, okay, four gallons of oil left in that one car. It should be done in a minute. So, I will select this okay, one. So number three is now under my control. Number four is under my control. I heard. Okay, I probably want to so. connect the airlines to make sure that these cars have their brakes. I'm Just surprised you kept. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you? You are number five. Number five is a mogul. A mogul. Yes, it's a G25. Okay. Bless your twenty-five thousand. You know, I have to do it. All right. So, what do you need me to do? Um, right now, I mean, let's see, what are the, okay, so those I'm clocks aren't hand. ready yet. Uh, the ones down here should probably, yeah, it's only got the one car on, like, ready, or partially ready. So, number five probably can just stay right there for the time being, because I don't think it's, uh, I don't think it, we're going to need him just yet. So, quick question. The train that I'm in the with number four, where is it headed to? Uh, it's heading back to Whittier. Whittier. Yeah, and because number two is right, because number two was damaged earlier and yeah. is now repaired. So, number two can resume passenger service. Yeah, holy, holy freaking moly. There are so many cars to whistle here, James. Holy moly. Yeah, Where? there's there's quite like a lot of cars on the inner at the uh and we also have two car we have well I mean you can probably bring number five up and pull these two cars out of Whittier Depot to have to go back to the uh Okay, yeah, those are not gonna need Did we have anything at uh, L that needed to come back? To no, L is clear, okay, so we just have, uh, we have two cars at Stencil Manufacturing that need to go back to the interchange. Heard. And I am about to pull 
get this uh, empty car. I'll bring. There's this. a couple box cars here for. I'll take care of them. Here. I at the uh, at Bryce. Shouldn't I'll I take, do that? So I'll take care of them. Yes. Yeah, I got number three. Oh. But I'm bringing it past the. the well, I've got back. a car that's coming back. At, that's coming back there anyway. Right now, I have a tanker car from Standard Oil that needs to. Uh, that needs to come back. So I'll just take care of those. Pay, I'll just take care of those cars that are there. Who's riding my my footplate? Uh, that that be. Okay, you'll be my brakeman, I assume. Yeah. We have some damaged passenger cars. Yeah, they'll probably, we'll, we'll repair them by the next day. We'll make sure to get them repaired. Like, half of the tr like, all, like, yeah, I think five, all of them are, are five cars. cars. One. Five cars at least. I'm gonna hop off here. I'll go up ahead and then change back. Oh yeah, I forgot. The uh, bleed is all the way up there. Two empty suspects to least interchange energy. So break, break, Put the switch. Definitely all we can do is run passengers in the bottle. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, once I have these cars ready, I, like, once I have this car ready to end up be going back. Hmm. I'm trying to think, how do I want to... Here. I should be able to push that empty tanker car. I'm gonna push it in behind and then just back this whole thing down the line. Yeah, I should be able to do that. Alright, ten cars. I was gonna say, logs won't be empty until tomorrow anyway, oh, so we won't have to do wrong or, um, uh, what are you at? Well, number no, one's up at L2 right now, we, I can, that'll be ready in like an hour. Question, are you ever gonna buy Silva on the server, mm -hmm. or is that yes. gonna be something you're gonna wait until? We're gonna, we're gonna buy it, uh, just, uh, just wanna make sure I have some good, like, I have a Healthy. few, like, P43s. For the task. That's fair enough. Because right as we are right now, one P forty three is not going to be enough for between Silva and Bryson and all that. And so. Okay. Question, question is, if we want to do buy more P forty seven for P forty three, are we going to get rid of some of the old look models like get rid of the mogul and the ten wheeler? Uh, do do, some of those might actually do, like. I might sell them later, but at first, I'm probably just gonna, they're just gonna end up being, like, relegated to, uh... To logs. Like certain, yeah, like logs. Stuff like that. Yeah, that's stupid. Something stupid. We probably need to buy more log cars, actually. Just do, buy another set of log cars and run back and forth. So we can have one of... No, nope, we're not taking, taking passengers, we're just taking this, the, this train back to Whittier. 
Alright, so thing, bop, thing. Alright, come back to Whittier. Uh, interchange. Open empties. Make some money. Alright, I'm to make sure that these are set properly. Also, yesterday we discovered something. Uh, chaos. Apparently, if you hold C while going through the cab doors, you can actually go through tight cab doors. Hmm. Yeah, I found that out yesterday as well. I was like, what? There's no way. Well, apparently it is a thing. Why do we, uh... Okay, so... This one car of dimensional lumber, like that said, Bryson team tracks are probably be ready to go out soon, too. I'm gonna top off on water and coal. There we I'm surprised you can take. I mean, there were 64 passengers at Bryson that were waiting to go back to Whittier, so. You said no passengers. I, I said. Followed your I didn't say anything. I didn't say no passengers. You said we were taking this train empty back to Whittier. No, I said that I cleared the passengers people. out that were going that were going further down the line. You didn't say to take any passengers. You should always take passengers. You said we were taking this train back, so number three can take it over. Yeah, but well, why go? Why go empty though? When you can, uh, you can get because you the revenue. order. Simple. For working on a company, you will obviously want to order what you want. You know, you didn't tell me to bring passengers back. You just said. Bring the coaches back to number four. Ah, oh, crap. I know the reason why. I need to go forward. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, no. Went the wrong way, alert. That's fun. Why is number two pumping out steam? Someone has it. Why is the red going? It's a waste of cold water. Pull forward. Crap, I forgot to switch flip that switch. Alright, that's a mistake. I'm on through about 20 miles per hour. Hold off it. Top the water off. So might as well.
Really? Why did you go up that one? That line, and I get switched back that way. Big money, love it. All right, so that one's 1.2, so probably like 15 minutes, and that one should be ready to go back. Or almost. Okay, that one's empty. So we're going to tack that on. Trying to get these last uh, these cars that should be ready. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Number five has a lot less. It has a large hole in some. Oh crap! I can't speak. Ugh. I'm surprised. Number five has a low water amount to the water. Not a cold hole. But model Y looks like it can hold more water than it really does, but. But uh, what can I mean? I'm only a rail fan. Number four coming in right here. I hope the main line at Whittier is clear. Should be. 
Yeah, it is. I can tell you that. So we're just past uh, mile point sixty, halfway to the number fifteen line. Edward Gordon Henry Thomas James. Wow. The, it was his idea. <laughs> hey, actually, the name Gordon name doesn't isn't that bad for before, because it literally is Gordon. <laughs> Not really. I would not mind seeing British locomotives in uh, this game. It doesn't have maybe to be all American. I mean, maybe as mods in the future. Yeah. Well, they've already said that they said they were going to allow community content. So I mean, I mean that doesn't seem unlikely. Yeah. Just past mile pulls fifty nine. As you all might have noticed, I'm quite whistle happy. <laughs> I whistle a lot. Trains are loud, they should be he heard, that's what I say. Yeah. They have a voice, they will use it. Wow. He's that's a human rights That sounds like a human rights activist. For Trey. Alright, so. Everyone will right. hear my whistle. I don't even hear the whistle blowing. Oh, you will hear me very soon. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, it's a muscle sign. I tried. Darn. I don't like the whistle dot on this level. Why? That's disgraceful. What is <laughs> Disgusting. Disgusting. Despicable. And whatever. And, and whatever. And then, no, no. And then just comes Eric in the background. Detestable. It's just everyone looks at him. He's like, what the fuck? Oh, uh, hey, I was. Victor Tanzig. You videos. seen that? Yeah. You I've watched every video, episode like, he's released. Just, just casually, Eric just shows up out of nowhere. Detestable. And then Edward James. Henry James and Gordon just like what the fuck are you doing here? Yeah. They killed off Connor. No. I didn't expect Thomas to die. I, there are I'm, some that think that he might not even be dead. That they think he's dead and he's just in a coma because of the all the like, because of him being loaded with green water. That's another thing. I thought that too. And being loaded on green water can also, uh, the sh I don't know what the whole lore of the universe is, but, uh... Um, someone in the uh, video no, said have, something about where water. they're sending him yeah. only did rolling, only broke up rolling stock. They didn't do locomotives. No, so they, they stopped, did engines. They did engines. But they stopped, they like, right around that year, like, they stopped around no. that year that the, that, that one's taking the, that. Hey, let me see. The, apparently, they do break up engines. If the damage is too much and you know you can't do anything, they will first black out the engine. Something called black water. It's basically imagine like a lethal injection. You fill the water tanks with this black water thing. They pass out, and then you cut them up and scrap. Yeah, I think he's in a coma. There's no. He might come back. Maybe. Yeah, the engines don't fill it. Don't fuel anything, so don't worry. Because we gotta think about, but we gotta think about Barry as well, who was also in a coma because of being drugged up, drugged up with green water as well. So green water is an aesthetic backwater. 
black water kills you. Right. And they never said they they never said they gave him black water neither. So yeah, there's they, a chance he had green water, and it's just like that they had him fully filled with green water. Maybe they overloaded, overdosed Thomas and Green Water, giving it a fucking overdose. Are you filling up on water, good sir? No, I'm going to go grab the freight. And I heard that it's at Ella. Not Ella, uh, East Whittier. There is nothing at East Whittier to, to grab. Yeah. All of it. Everything at okay, Whittier the, should be, uh. Then I'll take number four all... to the shed. Fair enough. Since doesn't have any jobs to do. Um. Yeah, hold on. Let me move out of the way because my entrance is by the, uh, water tower over there. So let me go move. Like, I'm not yet there. I'm not there yet, so don't worry. I know, but I'm moving back because I know you're going to be coming down the line. It's called being prepared, not being prepared to bad thing. Yeah. Make sure you flip the switch for this lovely man to throw his engine in the shed. Also, I love this regulator. It's the smack yourself in the face regulator. Because when you're in first person, you pull the regulator, it gets smacked into your mouth. It's kind of funny, I kind of, I kind of laugh at it, though, so... Hey, at least the pin doesn't come loose, and you're stuck in the ice. Man... If you know, if you know you're Thomas, not... Thomas, I, I love the... I love that reference. Good reference, good sir. The pin... The pin! The pin is gone! <laughs> the, the, the pin just flies out in the lights. Man, he's oh, the yeah, freaking yeah. Bobby chair. <laughs> I mean, yeah, to be yeah, honest, like ridiculous, ridiculous, like long hair. <laughs> freaking... I mean, they did use a lot of cotter pins back in the day, and there's, for as a doubt, with no doubt, the regulator will be held in place by something like a cotter pin and a bolt. Of course, there would be a bolt because it's stupid to have a vital part not held back by anything. Yeah. So funny thing, we we only have two tons of coal in the the hopper. Oh, there's two hoppers. Yeah, yep, the two. first one's about to go empty. All right. So I gave you enough space to pull onto the shed, good sir. Yo, slow down, man. I know what I'm doing. Well, I know what I'm doing, trust me. I'm an engineer. Right. You, like, soon you're gonna wanna, like... I... Probably would've turned number four around. At the Y, but I guess we can do that after, like, when it goes to gra actually grab a train, the cars from the interchange. You might want to move number five out of the way in a few minutes. All right, number gonna... so Living number cool. five, heard. Uh, it's going to be a few I'm minutes. The tra uh, number three is currently departing Bryson. So. Well, I'm, uh, I'm moving off to a sideline. So uh, should I do the passenger or number two? Yeah, go ahead and take number two and get it uh, get it back into GC. the cars and then turn, turn them right. around. So because you want to drive be, and it's gonna be a minute time. or two, it's gonna be a couple minutes before the uh, before number three makes it to Whittier. So uh, the JC, you want to be the driver or the brakeman? Uh, I'll, I'll just say the brakeman. I mean, if you want, you can drive. Don't worry, I can take the brakeman job. No, I'm good. You say so. I shall be your, your tender light. <laughs> I shall be your tender light. Yeah, number two don't got no, uh... Doesn't have a... It's kinda of stupid, it should though. Yeah, it should. Again, it's Sierra number three we're talking about.
it's, it's gonna be a lot of waiting for a little bit until stay at big game time. Next day we should have lots of burn. We have to kill off curse from the back. We'll probably have stuff like Whittier and other things going down the line. So, so. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so where are we going? Uh, Whittier, grab a faster. And we don't need the green light in the back of the filter. Green means we're with following the section. We're not following oh, the right, right, right. I'm surprised you have, you have a max loan of 73,000. That's actually Oh, yeah. <laughs> But if you realistically wanted to, you could get a larger loan and buy two more or three more P20, uh, P40. Yeah, but I mean, it's just the the interest payment's gonna kill us. <laughs> it's gonna be fucking good. Like, I'm not, I, I wonder what the interest payment's gonna be on a freaking, on a $73,000 loan. Probably like 40. I'll see what I'll see first. before the end, like before I get off, before we actually, before I complete the session and get off. I will just do maximum freaking loan and see what the interest, what it says the interest payment's going to be. Switch. Because I won't save it, so the like the loan well, won't no. take. Anyway, well, you, you can just pay it back all the money you just loaned. So. Yeah. Yeah. True. Uh, yeah, but like a very how much? Uh, I mean, ah shit! I need to figure out math time. Got to do some math. Okay, uh, so we want you, you're gonna do crystal or inject? I mean, to be honest, we should be doing diesels. To be honest, if we're gonna do this much freight, the diesels don't have a lot of fuel. Fueling stations. Hmm. Ugh. Anyhow. Um. So we were going if we were gonna buy more Pacifics from the main. Let's say you're buying like two more, or maybe three more. Yeah. It'd be like sixty grand for three. For two, would be like forty grand. So. Realistically, you could get the forty grand loan and buy two more, or a fifty grand loan, buy two more, and then buy um, Silva, or pay off the loan from the car, the engine itself, then um, buy Silva. So there's many things you could do. Yeah. <laughs> also, I just got do logs even give money now? I don't even remember if they do. Someone said that if we're doing, if we get Silva, we should have enough money to also do, uh, to do Dillsboro for the engine service. Yes, that, that won't be, that won't be too bad, but it's only a grand of doing it, I think, you too. Let me check it. Did it, did it, did it, No, I need to go to Milestones. Completed, blah, 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 not yet available. Available. Okay, it won't, it won't show me the price of them, but on my server it's like a grand something. It's like 20% off or something. For the yeah, engine yeah. service in, Del in Delsboro? Yes. I'll have to double check that, but I can... I'm 100% positive on the yard services, um, about a grand, so... I think number two might be. Yeah, why? Quick call for Okay, so.
the what? Who's on the map? Who's on the map? Okay, so number two, you cannot leave Whittier until number three gets down the line. He's already at the 30. He's already at what? He's already. Ah, oh, shit, I can't. He's almost at mile, mile marker 59, so I would not just um, pull in the passenger train until he pulls in the Whittier. Yeah, so you might want to start to get yourself slowed down to. I'm still coupling to it. Still coupling to the passenger cross. Well, I knew that. That's the reason why I was telling you guys I'll, don't pull out from Whittier until he's been passed. It's the only reason why. All right, he's at mile. He's at mile marker fifty-nine. Uh, you guys are pulling back at you for the switch. Oh, wait. Yeah. Uh, Fred, should I start loading the passenger cars? Sure. Alright. Uh, where are we gonna... Should we just uh, go all the way to Alarka, or...? Yeah, Alarka. From Ella to Alarka. Right. So, we're uh, taking passengers uh, with Ela. Yeah. Bryson, Hemingway, and Alarka. Yeah, and one thing I was thinking of when we complete the Alarka branch, having like a small local service basically that run between Bryson and Alarka. Yeah. Maybe you use a tank engine to pull it. The tank engine the tank doesn't have very much water, so I don't. Re I would not recommend using that one. It only has a 2,000 gallon water capacity. What the the Mikado tank? Yeah, it's got a very low water capacity. I would not use it. It's two and a half tons of coal and two thousand gallons of water. Like that is just not worth it. The logging Mikado could be worth using. Yes, absolutely. But not the tank. But not the logging tank Mikado. That one would just be a no. One car. Slow down. Big fat no on the. Tank engine. Unless they give us a bigger tank engine, then I would not do that. A tank engine like Eric in... in, in right? Eric, uh, handbrake coming off. Because what kind of tank engine is Eric, anyway? Uh, he is the GWR engine, that's for sure. Passengers loaded. I mean, we could also, I would love to see like a Union Pacific um, on their little shunters, or tender shunters, but they're only like two, uh, two, there, there are two, 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 I think, like, no, two, four, two, I'm sorry, I can't think correctly, but it's meant for, it's meant for shunting and freight, small part. Oh, I need to make sure Hendrix, uh, your your line is set for uh, interchange. Hold on, let me make sure I get your line set correctly. But so your line is set correctly there. Line's correctly set. Oh. All right, your line's correctly set there. But the interchange is not correctly set for you. That's fine. Take that. Hey, that's fixed. Oh, uh, uh, chaos. Yeah. You asked what type of engine Eric is, right? Yeah. He's a V1 tank engine from the LNER. Ah, I mean he's powerful though. It's a 262 tank engine. Funnily huh. enough, he is also related to Gordon. Huh. Ah. Interesting. In fact, the Henry is related to Gordon and Wade as well. 
Well, yeah, well, yeah technically, because he's still he's still in, he's a still in plan built engine. So yep. still, and Spencer is Gordon's cousin. Wasn't like wasn't Henry basically a combination of like two different engines, basically? Yep. And that's why he was. Uh, and... That's why he has like had problems. Yeah. He yeah. Was they put. They made. Like, they took. The... A, yeah. They took a bit. Like the bigger boiler or whatever. Like of one engine. No. So, uh, what Henry is? He is the stolen design plans from Sir Nigel Grassley of the A zero prototype. The early drafts, mixed with the boiler and firebox of a C2 Atlantic. Oh, of Amer an American Atlantic or a British Atlantic? British, British Atlantic, a C2 Atlantic by the GWR, GNR. Okay, fair enough. And a bit of C1 as well. And basically, I my theory at least is that the, the, the designs were stolen by a certain Thompson, Edward Thompson is his name. I hope, uh, Banks, you know who Thompson is, right? Uh, not really, no. Uh, Thompson is a designer that also worked for the LNER, and he had a massive spite with Gresley. In fact, one of the things he did once Gresley left the company, or passed away, I think, he took every single member of uh, Gresley's A3 class and rebuilt them as A2 slash 2 and A1 slash 2s. And the first engine he rebuilt was also the first engine Gresley built as an A3, number 4470 Great Northern. He rebuilt it into a worse version of itself. Number 3, you're good to pull forward. Yep, I uh, pure spike. I think I now have every single handbrake set on this train. So basically, are you, gonna, are, you gonna, are you gonna refill on water, sir? Uh, let's see. I've gotten enough for right now. Basically, Thompson is an asshole. <laughs> like we all didn't know this already. So I think he basically stole Henry's top hat. And then we have the whole, oh. I wanted an Atlantic, but that fat fucking son of a bitch sent me this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, it was it was technically more powerful on paper. It's just no, the, firebox the firebox being box. inadequate was the problem. No, the fire, take a guess how big the firebox was. 34 square feet. Yeah, that was way too small for that large ass boiler. Hell no. That would have made more and the sense with was like also a. Possible. Well, with that size firebox, it made more sense with like a tank engine like Thomas. Yeah, that makes more sense with Thomas or. Or Percy. Um, or even like Duck. Per <laughs> Duck. In comparison, let me see the size of Fire Fly Scotsman firebox. Which is an Atlantic yeah, right. type. Uh, Fly Scotsman is a 462 Pacific, you know, and it has a firebox, a bell. Let me see if I can find it. I'm trying to find the reference that I was looking for. Alright. I'll do it as soon as Henry I stop is... the train at the station. So Henry is going to sit here for right now. Alright, so what is... Okay, you're planning on taking Gordon to do what? Turn him around so that he's facing the right direction. Are you going to use the, uh, the Y? Yeah. Oh, there, buddy. Okay, sure. Uh, firebox area. Uh, Fly Scotsman has about 41.25 square feet of area. That's kind of stupid. That he and was given that, that, for that size boiler for, yeah, that's kind of stupid. Should've so, no, Fly Scotsman, Fly Scotsman has a 41 foot firebox. 
which is big. And there's a video online of someone doing me. I think he literally stand up like crouching inside of the Starbucks. Not even crawling, just crouch. Huh. Because it's so fucking big. Yeah. And so, eight long tons of coal, and 5,000 gallons of water, and... The sand compartment on number 180 one doesn't PSI seem like it's all that big. The what? The sander, like the sand compartment on top of the boiler, doesn't seem like it's all the that sand big. Dome. Yeah, the, the sand, sand dome. dome. Yeah, the sand dome. Doesn't seem all that big. Like, it doesn't need to be that big. Because you don't really need to a lot of sand usually. No, because you rarely use sand. Sand is only used in extreme cases of wet rails, leaves on the rails, snow after or snow. ice. Yep, that is rarely the case. Yeah, but usually it is um, most likely navigated with. Um, you're usually lighting the tracks on fire with like paint Alcohol, or something. I Alcohol, yeah. they're, just, they're making, they're gonna be wet, but they ain't gonna be, they're not gonna be frozen. Yeah, like you see yeah. Sierra number two, uh, Sierra uh, number three here, the number two, you see the the sand dome is the one of the number two. You see, it's not that big either. Yeah. The things I want to see like in the next few updates is sand and um, snow and weather yeah. effects. Like and more weather effects. Yeah, so. Proper wheels look. And proper wheel split, yes, that'd be awesome. And you know, you brake too hard, the wheels lock up, like in railroads online. Yeah. I want to see a passenger diesel locomotive as well. Like the AMD freaking, what is it? Uh, F the F3 units, that's the correct Yeah, yeah the, the, F, the F3 units from the F, yeah, you know, yeah, that's what I'm saying. And AMD, I would like to see F3. more. I yeah, like one thing that's kind of fun in, uh, in D-Rail Valley, is actually like multi-track drifting a train. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you time oh, your yeah. switch, if you sit by a switch and do it enough, you can do it. I did what it with think, flat cars. Uh, the, the EMD F3 was actually accurate for this time period. Between 1945-49, it was built. What time period is this game built? Um, 1940s, 1950s, uh, late 1940s, early 1950s, so transitional era. So, you know, I was, taking out was, steam, I, was, they were taking out steam, putting diesel right. in, slowly. But steam is still much more powerful than diesel at the time. Yep. I mean, there's like this comparison they made of a EMD F3 unit and, uh, and New York Central Niagara. You want to know why they replaced the steam? Mm -hmm. Because of 11 cents of economy per mile. But the Niagara's were still more efficient, so they capped a couple of runs after they brought in the F3 units. Yeah, but I want to see a diesel passenger locomotive and another, like, a large freight locomotive, like a deck pod. You know, uh, what was that one deck pod that's put in the car road chat? Let me check it. You know, one thing I don't like about diesel engine, they made a lot of people lose their jobs, you know. Like half of the train crews lost their jobs because you know you don't need a fireman anymore. Oh, that's another thing. Fire. I want to see some like actual firemen mechanics. Not like it doesn't have to be like a whole lot. Like in one show, it will fill half the fire bucks or some crap. It doesn't have to. Be uh, no, crazy. a shovel doesn't fill half the fire. Oh, you have no idea how the pain that is realistic fire. If you were to watch one of Heist's videos. You have yeah. to actually level the fire around the firebox. Depends on the strength of the throw of the shovel. How far the coal goes into the firebox? Let's say I volunteer at, uh, I volunteer at, uh, freaking. Oh, so you know. you know. I do know, but I volunteer. I don't, I don't, I do shovel coal. It is a pain in the ass, trust me. There's also the, I mean, if it has a stoker, that is better because, you know, the steam blows the coal to the place as it needs to go. Right. Uh, it's oh. a, it's a, it's a Union Pacific, um, 242, so it's not like, I'm, I'm oh. running a large passenger engine, but it's still... Remember the Pacific that I showed you? So, you know, yes. uh, coal firing is a pain. Imagine trying to wood fire an engine that size, and you're firing by hand, throwing lumps of wood into the firebox. Like big logs. 
by hand. Yeah, I remember. And you have, uh, you have to get like just the right throw. <laughs> and you're holding a log, you're throwing the log in the hole. Uh, okay, that's kind of weird. That's what he said. Yeah. Yeah. So this log, right here the with the P43 is what I like about this locomotive. A large ass tender. <laughs> yes, it's big. It's so big that you can fill it with coal and water at the same exact time. Yep. And you can do several round trips around, like from Silva to Bryson. Or Silva to Alabama. So that's like, this is like the, like, why I like this engine, because it's just, and it's got good capacity too, so I mean. <sighs> we need to buy, you know, we need to buy better passenger cars, not more passenger cars. Agreed. The better ones will give you. I think they give you a bonus as well. The newer, the newer passion for cars. Yeah, because you. reputation. I also discovered that keeping your cars in a hundred percent all the time gives you like a bonus for reputation hmm. and money. What is our reputation at currently? Overall, eighty-eight. That that's it's, pretty bad. So you know, if the passenger cars. But are that's because of the passenger, of the train yep. the derailing and all that. Yep. If the passenger cars are one percent damaged, that's already a loss. At revenue. Yeah. Yeah, so we, we need new passenger cars. I suggest we can sell. Well, to be honest, to get the same amount of passengers on each run. Just less running, cars. It'll be less, it'll be less cars, but um, let me quickly look at the. Like, w how many passengers can this train hold uh, right now? Uh, math wise, hold on. We have 225 cars and 460 cars. 290. Yeah, 390. 390. Now take, take the what? same amount, like six cars of the steel variant. D84. We have six yeah. cars on the train. How many passengers should... is that? Six times 84 we... do that for me. Yeah, but we'll still have to get a loan because for that to get four of those cars, each one of these are only worth three grand a piece. That's only enough to pay for one car. You know, Actually, these are three. These are four thousand for buy, and the Osgood Bradley are six thousand. Yeah. And like, so do, only do the math for me. Two. Like, do the math for me. It's six times eighty-four. Sure. I suck at math at my head. Like, you know, doing things on the fly. I have a calculator so I can just do it, but... So 84 times 6 is 504. We would be pulling 504 passengers right now. But or, then we, well, are we gonna keep? are we gonna keep the original... Uh, well, then we'll have to I'll, use the larger engine. What we'll to use the... Uh, Oh, oh sorry. Yeah, I mean, I meant four because we would keep the observation cars that are twenty-five. So it's fifty passengers because of the two observation cars, plus four times eighty. Plus That's the four times eighty-four. Well, um, I don't know if I want to even sell the uh, the open platforms. I might use them for like a local for the branch. Yeah, for the branch yeah, line. The local. But if we replace these cars with steel for like for the main line, how much would like in passengers would that be uh, banks? So it would it would be three eighty six. But I think the idea is we should probably round it up and get it. So technically, three eighty six plus the fifty right. of the D two observation cars, right? Yeah, that's a lot of passengers. That's a lot of moolah. Yeah, but the 500 sounds better, to be honest, because if I'm running 500 and I'm taking, like, 500 people to, to one location, that's 500 grand, but technically you're taking the multiple locations, so you're going to get more than that because of the distance switch, you have to travel per location. Okay. Here we go. Switch. That, that's uh, that's so switch. They, they also count. And <laughs> set that switch. There we go. Yeah, also, the amount of money you make on passengers is the amount of distance they travel as well. And then so you don't I'll just make sure. Okay, good. That's what's set to be aligned against number one, so it'll come straight down to the main line, 
and stop before the crossover. Uh, you forgot the flip the switch here from the repair shed, so... Yeah. You know, there's something extremely odd about the air brakes in this game, like the, the train brake. They're too strong. The, that set of cars that's on the siding weighs almost eight. Like, like I have, I, look, uh, like, I think it weighs probably close to like fifteen, like hundred yeah, tons. Go ahead. You you know the uh, the automatic brakes, the train brakes are too strong. Like ten ten pounds of brake pressure, it's already too, like already bringing the train to a halt. That's not how it should work. Yeah, the uh, the cars on the siding weigh about seven hundred pounds. Does anyone also think pounds. that the brakes are a bit too strong? Like the 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 air brakes, the spring brake is a bit too strong. Yeah, probably, but most of the time I'm stopping my trains with the independent because of the other brake is too darn strong. I mean, I I use both. I use both, and I kind of regulate it out between the two. Like, I stopped in the I, I'm able too. to bring a train from 35 miles an hour to stop with just 10 pounds of uh, train brake, oh, which wow. doesn't sound right. Doesn't sound right. Well, the uh, person who started the company who uh, made the first gun that I've ever purchased just passed away today. <gasps> Gaston oh, Glock oh, passed away it's today. It's yeah, Gaston hey, Glock this. passed away uh, today. Chaos. I've ever seen a movie called Kalashnikov. Um, no. I it's actually the saw that, that, bro. Like, I saw that. Uh, Brandon Herrera did something with it. Like, I think like he kind of yeah. kind of went through it, but he didn't. Like, we didn't. You don't see like the whole yeah, movie it's a as good a whole. Movie. It's a really good movie. It's the story of Mikhail Kalashnikov and yeah, the his, of the and AK yeah, his. Like oh, no one, like no really one, good. like no one thought he was going to be any good at it because it's like he was. He was. He a, was so like young an too. Tank gunner. Yeah, he plus was he was tank. also he was like young too and just didn't know anything about gun design. But I mean, I do want to get an AK-47 at some time, at some point, or like an AK style rifle, it. just because they are like they can be, a, they can definitely are a good dependable rifle. Especially, like, I mean, yeah, obviously, if you take care of it properly. He is one of the few Russian people that are... He is one of the few Russians that I respect because he doesn't support anyone, like... You know, didn't support Putin and all that shit. Huh. Okay, so number two up... Okay, so are you going to run all the way to Herringway, or...? It appears that Kalashnikov passed away in 2013. That sounds like... What, he was like, what, 50, 60, maybe? No, he fought in World War Two. That wouldn't be right. Yeah, so well, he would have been. He is old. He would. He was he born in nineteen like ninety. Let me say. He was born in nineteen nineteen and died in twenty thirteen. Okay. He was ninety four years old when he passed away. Damn, I was on the money on eighty four, on ninety four, ninety eight. Oh, uh, Gaston is was ninety four. <laughs> he was born. 19, the 19th of July mm. in 1929. 1919. No, Gaston Glock. Oh, the Glock guy. Yeah. And then you also have the... Uh, what was it? The, the creator of the MP-18, Hugo Schmeisser. Also, interesting figure. You have John Garand, the creator of the Garand rifle. Garand rifle, whatever you want. To yeah, call he's it. died by now. I'm pretty sure. Yep, but he made the, the most satisfying rifles of Ghost Pink. <laughs> Reminds Apparently, me of a scene uh, in fucking Doctor. It's like Glock yeah. in 1999. Uh, sus he suspected one of his closest financial advisors of embezzling funds, and they got when confronted. The guy hired a French mercenary to try to kill Glock. What the fuck? Yeah. yeah, in July 1999, Glock was suspected that Charles Uit 
one of his closest financial advisors had been embezzling funds. Glock confronted him, who hired a French mercenary to murder Glock with a rubber <laughs> mallet in a car park in an attempt to make it look like an accident. Hey, Glock hey, was hit in the head, but was able to fight back, punching the man until he collapsed on top of Glock. Uh, re real quick question. <laughs> who in tar- Shut up. Who in tarnation left the mainline switch aligned to standard oil? That would have oh, been that, me, because I was doing switching. I had a. You I almost a, killed a full passenger train. That's why you also have to be like always check ahead, make sure that the switches are aligned properly. First, it's, it's because the main line is the main line. It there, it should never be set away from the main line. That's one thing. Well, I'm backing up. Yeah. Hey, you know. he had a good reason. Don't be mean to him. He can kick you from the server if he wanted. All right. So For some one. reason, that sounded like you're, uh, quote unquote, sucking his balls. That's what I'll say. Huh. Right. Shut so up. So that's so number one's gonna stop on the main line there next to Whittier. Uh, okay. okay. Number two express take two and. So you're going to Hemingway, Arkajack, and then... That's a, what the happen? fuck is... Arkajack? What is Ar that? It's like a Larka <laughs> Junction. Whatever. Hey, what? <laughs> Arkajack. I'm fucking blind. It's Junction. It's short for Junction. What the fuck? You said Arkajack. A Larka Junction. You know what I'm saying? Oh. <laughs> I was like, what the... Who the fuck is Arkajack? I don't know that guy. Okay, Stephen. Are you guys gonna how many how many more runs past through you guys Just one more before the end of the day? I'll run all night, I guess. No, I'm talking about for the next day in game time. Yep, I'll run all night in the game. It's a one to one um, time ratio. Yep. Oh god. So we're gonna be sitting uh -oh. here for a while doing Oh, nothing. sorry, I didn't see the game was one to one. I always have it set to one to one. It's You're always insane. It's always set to one to one because it allows us to get all of our work done early, with like having the timely bonus with everything. That's true. I gotta give right. you that. It, it guarantees yep, exactly. us getting a, ti a timely bonus. Sorry, what? What did you say, JC? Uh, we've got 1.8 tons of coal, 1.7 um, gallons of water. So like that is enough to make to the next station. Are you sure? Is it enough yep. to make it back though? If in any case, we can just try and coast. We have two stations to kill, and most of the way back is downhill. Yeah, it'd be fine. You'll be fine. You're going uphill right now, so you'll be going downhill on your way back. Exactly. And I'm trying to keep the the regulator usage. Yeah, but I do. Is there a spot to even refill past Bryson? Nope. Yeah, there's no water or uh, coal yeah, yeah. for that matter. That's what, until like that, I'm until regulating. Like, oh, so like, yeah, I, I'm I'm water. regulating. I'm regulating the tender quite well. The regulator. Bro's regulating the regulator. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm managing it very well. Keeping the usage at minimum. Wait, is that why it's called a regulator? Oh, shoot. Uh, the throttle is called a regulator. The reverser. Yeah, it's the, the gear shift. Yeah. So the reverser yeah. is kind of like the gear shift on a car. Yeah, it makes Yeah, yeah. But. Never mind. It's a, yeah, people call it a throttle, but it's not a throttle. It doesn't directly influence the movement. It just opens yeah. a valve, regulates a valve in the steam dome. That would probably, if I assume my engineering is correct, should be right beneath the whistle, that valve, like a couple inches below that. Is it? Yup. So, you see the dome that the whistle sits on? It's not there for looks. It has the safety valves, the whistle, and beneath that, inside the dome, is full of steam. And it has a valve in there that when I pull the regulator, it opens that valve, and then it allows the steam to flow from the dome 
into the boiler, uh, forwards towards the, you know, the little tubes that go down to the piston. And the valve does its thing down there, the valve gear, to move the train. Then it all goes off the top. Bro, sounding like the nerd emoji right now. The one. <laughs> What did you just say? What? He, he sounds like he sounds like the nerd emoji, does he not? What me? No, Fred. The, he said oh, I sound Fred? like the nerd yeah. emoji. Yeah, you're the nerd emoji, Fred. I, I, I just yeah. explained to you the basic steam engine mechanics. Oh, steam goes into the dome. Steam leaves the dome. Steam goes forward, down, cylinder, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. out. You're, you'd be surprised the amount of times I heard people say those rods are there on the side of a steam engine to make it look pretty. Crazy. <laughs> it, it, uh, I tend to say, like, uh, no, if you don't have any rods, you're not going fucking anywhere because you don't have motion. Well, Thomas is an exception, except that, like the actual power of the engine itself, it has... Internal valve inside, gear. Inside valve gear. So technically but it doesn't it's need still, the rod. It does. You wanna know why? The piston is only coupled to the center set of driving wheels. Thomas is a no six, so it's only coupled to the middle. So the coupling rods on the outside are to transfer the power to the first, w to the front wheels and the back wheels. Exactly. Yeah, that's, that's why you see my piston. It connects to the middle wheel because if you look in between the engine frames, the pistons connect to the middle, in the middle of the engine. Okay, so here's a plan. I have an idea. If we want to really run a lot of passengers, the only way we'd be able to do that was be by getting running of all the, well, keeping the old cars, but buying brand new ones. Buy six of the brand new ones, which are going to be, the head, they're going to be heavier, so the look mode might be, you might have to change the look mode of doing passengers to like number five or number four, because they're going to be the only ones that can carry that. Because number three here is only a 10 wheeler unless we sold it and bought, and bought the t21 or t21 we sell it by t21 and be able to run with the heavier passenger cars so what our total, pass your car our total two observation. so plus I mean, we're not selling the observation cars. with yeah. the observation cars 50 plus the 504 is 554 total passenger passenger capacity so if we did that, we would have enough, but we would have to wait out. We, we would have to wait, like, we would have to wait an hour in in-game time to get fully loaded trains on each on So each basically, station. we could run, like, a train per day. Right. But the, but the larger the passenger train would be nice, because once we unlock the rest of pass, um... And running one passenger train per day would also allow us to focus on the freight. Yes. Because you, you only need to run one passenger train to really do it, to do it all, and to keep it. And f so we could do it like, yeah, we replace the, you know, the four, the four wooden cars, the four open cars with the heavyweight steel, the, the steel cars, the lightweight steel. Yeah, but, but we're and at, then we but leave I'm the two observation. So instead of yeah. four, you're gonna have six in between the two. So yep, that's so gonna happen. Yeah. yeah. So then you should so have enough space to run every. Every station. Right. Yep. So um, that would be the two observation what this cars interest at the end. Rate would be for a full Hold on. Let, let me let me cook. So let's basically, what uh, one observation car to start, then uh, steel cars. One observation car at the end. Look at what that's, the interest payment low. would be on that. <laughs> that's Four. low interest. That is so low. That is <laughs> yep. not even enough. You can pay that's... it with like three day, two or three day. Yeah, but that's that's Holy... just the that's just the interest. That's not including the fact that we owe money then. Like that that only pays off the interest. <laughs> and then we can work to pay the the loan. Yeah, pay back pay back part of that loan. We don't need all that money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's like. Let me see. Uh, well, let's figure device. out what we're like. Let's figure out what we're going to actually need for what uh, we're purchasing. Uh, so there is a discount if you buy like all the cars at once. You know? Yes, there is. Let me so see how many. So if, if we're buying six of those passenger cars, uh, thirty-seven thousand five hundred and forty-two. 
Yeah. That's, That's what's like half oil right for, there. And if they were selling the ten wheeler for the Pacific, I mean the two the two ten ah uh, crap. The T twenty one, that's another eight grand well about how much would we be able to sell that look I'm sorry, I need it. five thousand. Five thousand, so yeah, we would have to pay f three grand on the look mode itself on the upgrade. So I mean, from sixteen thousand to twenty-one thousand pounds. I mean, you you would be. We're also trying if we're if we're doing P if we're doing two P forty-three. Uh, I probably want to walk. Wait, I guess so. So it turns out the T twenty-one and pull that load. I did it on a sandbox war. I pulled like I think ten cars of the steel variant hmm. with the T twenty-one. Oh, but what at what speed? Because you, you can't 30 just... an hour, 30, 35, 40 maybe. Seriously? Before I derailed, yes. You just need to know how to drive. Well, no, as long no, as you know how to... I know how to drive. I'm just seriously asking. With 10 of those heavy ass passenger cars? Uh, that's yeah. also a funny thing. It did that in real life. 10 wheelers are powerful. Yeah, I think that like that engine could pull maybe fifteen of those cars, the back, and even more of the wooden ones. So if we did the Pullman uh, Palace cars, that would probably be up like twenty well, cars. I would just avoid those ones just because of the lower capacity compared to the uh, to the open platform. It's like I'd rather yeah. go with the they ha like with the uh, steel lightweight rather than using. Rather than using the Pullmans, I agree. So technically, if we were okay, so if we were going to buy another P forty three as well on top of it all, holy crap! I gotta do some math here. But um, so I stood cars. Blob. So for six of these is going to be that. So let me my calculator out here, boys. Thirty-seven point five four two, and it's nineteen thousand four hundred for P forty-three. We well, would need fifty-six thousand, so you you would have to pay off. You can pay off ten grand in the loan, and then that's all you uh, can do. Well, we still need would like I'd still be wanting to purchase Silva, if we're going to. Uh, and silver right now should be doing uh, silver. That's eight thousand five hundred. Yeah, and then the Dillsboro no. uh, engine service. So yeah, we're gonna have to take a full maximum just to be able to do that. Yeah, I'd say that's we crazy. use like we use the maximum like the like this amount, but I'd say wait till after the, the interchanges service just so that we have these cars taken care of. And then everything yes, will just please. go back to Silva for the next day. Fair enough. So so we'll be we buying have... new cars. Oh, so technically, hold on. Yeah, well, perks is if everything they're in they're the morning, they're basically, they're after they're interchange they're service. That's yeah. nice. And then we can get... And Okay, first things first, let me get this out of my mouth. Yeah. We will definitely repair all of the passenger cars to 100% condition to make as maximum money as we can once we get the branch. I mean, there's yeah. no way we are we sell home. We're selling the we're selling these old passenger cars as well. No, we are actually going to not keep all them. of them. I mean, we could no, sell two keep of all them. Four. Keep two. I'm just all saying four. we're keeping all four because well, we can do like this. We could do local service together with them. So you know, we have from we will have from wait a year to uh. Soon enough, we'll have Whittier to Almond, right? So yeah. then we could do it like this. We could do Express Run could be Whittier, Bryson, Alarca, and Almond, and the low code okay. run could be all those towns. Yeah. You would start. So, yeah. You would start in Sylvia to yeah. Whittier to Bryson to 
Yeah. All whatever. Yeah, so we'll have the express so one would be silver, whittier, I will also pricey, purchase Lark. this one. So we'll have those cars. Yeah, that would Hold be interesting, right? Hold off on the, so, uh, the signals for a bit. You know, it would be interesting, right? Silver, Whittier, Bryson, Alarka, Almond for the Express, and the, all of the stations for the... That could work, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, with the with Alarka itself, I was thinking that with that one, doing a... Like, we'll just do a local that goes from Bryson down that branch line. So we'll just service... So we'll just do Bryson... I don't know, maybe stop in Hemingway, then I'll stop in Cochran, and then Alarca, and then come back. So it'll only do four stations, and that's it. Alright, I would suggest we purchase the um, passenger cars, so we know how much we have left to work on. Um, I'll do that. Well, can you even purchase? Oh, no, I can't. The uh, passenger cars and the P-43? I can't. Yeah, so, yeah. Purchase those, see how much we have left, and then we'll figure out from there what we do. Well, uh, well, well, we will. Ah, shit. What we will do okay, from there. So well, we will. What we will. Six passenger cars. And no, those are. Um, one P forty three. So that leaves us with eight grand. Just enough to buy the track to Silva, but we're also going to get the money from the contract for the sawmill tonight, which is going to be about probably four grand or so. Right. So that so should be enough to, be able to purchase. So like, well, that will be enough to purchase the track to Silva in the morning, well, and also and the engine in, service. Yes, purchase. Yeah, acquiring the engine service. So one thing I'll say very quickly, since the the heavy the steel cars will be our you know main train, we will definitely give them like the service a name instead of just having the railroad name up. I, I was thinking about calling it the Alarka Flyer. That would be interesting. <laughs> well, that, that would be good. Maybe the Pittsburgh Star, since you know the railroads is called the Philadelphia Harrisburg and Pittsburgh. Yeah. That's what. The. <laughs> the. Let me think of a preferred option that we could use. So now those cars are... Or maybe, who knows, fucking either uh, Philadelphia Zephyr or Harrisburg Zephyr. That could also be interesting, take the, take a bit of the Santa Fe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, that'd be good. Um, I mean, it's all up to him what he wants to do with the passion cars, because he's yep. the only one in the so... I'll think about it. I mean, the Pennsylvania Star makes a lot of sense because it's about the railroad's name. The oh name yeah, that is, that is good. Pennsylvania Star, Pennsylvania Flyer, or Pennsylvania Zephyr. That could also... Yeah. Well, have those all right, so now I need to renumber these. What do I want to... As for the color, as? we should definitely paint the passenger cars with the Pennsylvania Crimson. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that looks good. And the golden uh, letters. Yeah, you know, like, like, like your like line? Server? Yeah, like my yeah, server. Like, and, like yours, or yeah. That would look beautiful. Hey, hundred one dollars for fifty fares. Don't uncouple yet. I need to, oh, you know, okay. clear this. I need to clear the switch. Oh right, right, right. You're gonna run around. Are you gonna run around tender first, or um? No, I'll do the you. Y. There, there's a Y. Yeah, I know. But like sixty-two. Mind the brakes on the cars, please. Oh yeah, I'll set handbrake. So the two things I want to see in the next update is like a a Bryson start or um. Android wanna... start. Yeah, I want to see like. I want to see like a Bryson start or um, Selvia start. Maybe Andrews. Start from Andrews and build. 
to Silva or start to Silva in blue two energy. But it's like no, no, yeah. there's no interchange at energy, so they would need to add one. Yeah, because the, and there's no reason to add one. So the only other reason would be would be Bryson or Sylvia if they were going to add a different start to it. As well, I want to see like real. I want to see some. I want to see Cole being like being ah shit. I can't like actual shoveling coal into the engine. Like so, there is a need for a fireman and as an option, yes. Because otherwise, as, as an optional. Okay. And I want to. I want to see. Um, for sure, I want to see a um, weather update so we can actually get weather and and then uh, a use for sand. So we get like a sand tower now that we can use to fill up sand and other things yeah, like that. I don't need a sand tower. You want to know how you sand the tracks? Do like freaking the general movie and just hop off the engine and start throwing sand on the tracks. Oh my god! No. You know, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yes, I've seen the movie. <laughs> it uh, just hops up, and then you have to hop in the back of your tender. Pennsylvania Star, look, and blue uh, as well. I don't... Yeah, I decided. Uh, I think like this is the Pennsylvania Railroad red, Tuscan red. Yo, uh, yeah, but it's gold. It's, it's golden. It's golden yeah. red. Can you get the control for a moment? I really want to go up there and see. Then when I'm back, you can see as well. So you know we've turned around, we've uh, you know pass around our whole roles. Let me see. This. Um, my camera's not there at the moment, so. Oh, oh. Uh, blue letters. Uh, okay, interesting. I like the colors though. Yep, that's definitely. Just need to change the. I think the lettering color looks a bit too bright. Neon color. Yeah, I want like. I would rather see like gold color because it is white. either gold or white. Gold, gold or, or white, white, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I, I am back. Uh, okay, cool. Now you can go. White over looks here. pretty good on. The white looks pretty good on. Um, is there a gold one yet? There doesn't seem to be one yet. Are you taking your sound all over there? Yeah, the gold looks so much better because you can see it, but it's not too bright. So there's a line you when you look at it as well. So, uh, I mean, I was pretty much going ready. with black with the red lettering for everything. Yo, but forward. then you can't see, you, you can't see shit well, because the, the black it's, doesn't contrast. Well, no, it's the it's the black, just like the straight up black, and then the bright red lettering is what I was using. Oh. If you look at the car, okay. the like the logging cars that I have sitting oh, on that. the main line, that that was basically my color setup. Black with like a bright red. Call it like lettering, so you could see the letters and cook your passengers in the sun. Question is, what are we gonna name this new locomotive that we bought? Uh, well, considering the next number in the line, because I don't plan on sell. Like, I don't like. I don't know if I want to sell the. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to sell the. Uh, T seventeen. I'm gonna go okay. fill up on water and coal. Loading, loading passengers. Oh well. Oh yeah. Uh, hey, JC. You yeah. know, for a bit of a change, you drive now. Way back. Okay, man. If if we if we stall, if we run out of water, not not my, not my fault. Uh. uh don't worry, I'll keep you warned on that. Just try not to use a hundred percent regulator all the time. That's all I'll say. What do we I have... just let the, do I just let the, AI, the, the uh, AI do it? He might not do it. Also, we're rolling back. Oh, shoot. Just realized. That's usually... You know, it's a down. Are we loaded? Let me check this. Oh, wait, we're not loaded. So yep, no, we're gone. We're, we're dead. We're, we're dude. Oh, oh, Not dude, okay. good. Okay. All okay. aboard! Percy. Yeah, yeah, Percy, the fucking express engine. <laughs> <laughs> I know, why do right? I just, why do I that's just imagine the, Percy that's, pulling so an express train? That's actually train? kind of funny, though. Percy is the new number six. It's a freaking passenger engine. It's so funny. 
<laughs> and it's gigantic. <laughs> well, Percy and the, the show is like fine. <laughs> I know. I know, that, that, that's hilarious. I love it. I know. Who the fuck is uh, I don't know. Probably some random that just joined from the list. Yeah, I I know. That's like basically number four is the only one that's basically consistent with the actual. Uh, number five. Yeah, number five because and of the, the, the wheel arrangement. Number two kind of matches. It's a small engine. No, number two is a uh, should be an Atlantic. No, number two should be a four four zero. What the fuck? Are you but we don't have a four four zero. Wait, what are you thinking about? Wait, Ed, wait, is Edward? Wait, I don't remember. Edward is a, Edward is a finesse railway. Oh, it is a four four zero. Yeah, so a we don't KT. have a four four zero. Like, we basically just have the four six zero. Okay, the regulator is perfectly fine like that. Just leave it now and just let it drive. Should be fine. I mean, we've got the grade ahead of us. We could just start coasting. Hey, if you boys need some help, I'm filling up on water right now with the new number six. So if y'all ever strand out there, I got uh, you. Yeah, I think you uh, it might take a while to get here. It might. Well, oh, it's all the way back at Whittier. Yeah, this one's all the way back at Whittier, and you guys are all the way up there. I fell off the train, but don't need to stop. Find my way. Yeah. Our character is running like 200. Oh, that's enough. Now. You have more than enough water to make it down. Yeah. Because you're headed downhill thing. anyway. Wanker. What? Yeah, wanker. Fucking wanker. Trying to figure out what I'm <laughs> going to do with the numbering for the cars. Because if we're putting the observation cars on the new ones, the current set of cars are going to have. <laughs> the, uh, the open platforms are going to have to be renumbered. I think. They might have to be. Because the new cars are going yeah. to sit, are basically going to be in the middle of the contest in a sense. So, they have to go from 100 up to then no, 107, one and then the one. last car becomes 108. Uh, isn't like uh, the, the wooden cars, aren't they going to become the, the local train? Yes, they're going to become the local. The local doesn't need observation car. Fucking local train. Exactly. They don't. They don't deserve that. That. that what's it called? That privilege. They're the peasants. Yeah. Did you just chuckle? Yes. Bro, just call people on a living on a branch line peasants. <laughs> yeah, they ride on the local train. They can't ride the mainline express passenger service that we. So they don't deserve an observation car. They'll just look out the fucking window like a. Uh, tell, tell that dude it's because of the fucking rules, because we don't want anyone to be fuckers and crash our trains by fun. Uh, okay, Hemingway, here we are. I think you stopped just a tad bit too early. Yeah, a little, little bit too early, it's fine. Oh. I just, I just need like one. Oh, so he's already in the Discord. Oh, I see him. Oh no, it's a puppy. Hi! Who's a big girl? Squish, squish. Squish, squish, squish. Oh she my looks gosh. up at me kind of like, oh. Why are you disturbing me? I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> yeah. There's a fluffy pupper. Are we loaded? Uh, is no one going to Hemingway? From Malarca? We're good. I think we're good. No. No, we're not good. Hold on. What do you mean we're not good? I didn't get the prompt of the, you know, the fares. Maybe that's because no one went to Hemingway, so. See if we have any battles waiting? I don't know why okay, my thing is go. showing stations that we're not actually delivering to yet. Yeah. Maybe a glitch. Also, I found something. Yeah, heavy way saying uh, reason... Nanahala, Silva, Dillsborough, Topton, and Roto. Yeah. For some reason, the doors on the uh, observation cars aren't working. Yeah, hey, I've noticed that. They don't really work. Hey, for some... I really do not like it. What? They're supposed to work. All aboard. Can we change the whistle on number six? Something yeah, in the lower town. Give it a one time. <laughs> 
<laughs> the one, the one chime. <laughs> now, now give it the NYC five chime. That sounds better. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'll use that or the S I U, the S L U. O chime three three bell well chime would be good too. Oh, the the southern bell, the, the southern, southern free chime. Oh. That thing is too darn deep. It sounds like a fucking big boy. Yeah, that's that's. Which one? I mean, we can do the running six. You can do the running six would be good as well. Reading, not running. Running? Did running. Running. you just say running? That's... Whatever. Whatever. Oh, it's running off. My, my son is here. Be quiet. The whistle is running away. Go get it. <laughs> Gotta catch him. <laughs> catch all the whistle. Also, you, you know, you know the, you know the Sierra number three. Why on earth does it have a big uh, gap between uh, two of the drivers? Uh, that's because the firebox, I assume, and they didn't <laughs> want to make a Pacific, I guess. Cool. <laughs> Saddle tank okay, one you time. You see, like <laughs> you see, like the the there's a black spot between the the wheels. Yeah. That is your firebox. That's why there's like a ton of it inside of your cab as well. Cool. The black. So, yeah, the the driving wheel is all the way at the back, cause space. I guess. Uh, uh, the S O U uh, long bell three chime. Yes. <laughs> Someone said no. Uh, he was asking about if this was the logging. Um, cut out tank, and I said no. <laughs> no, we don't have one of those, and I don't plan on getting one. Because <laughs> fuck that shit, it's bloody useless. Bloody useless! Yeah, it's got like, no, it's... It, all it can do is... All it can literally do is shunt. That is literally it. Yeah, no, it is all not... it can literally do is shit. It's a, literally a pilot engine, that's all it is. How would that be? A logging tank, Mikado? That's a... Fucking Pacific tender engine. No. That's what I just said it was. It was not a Mikado. <laughs> it was not a Mikado. It's a tank. It's a tender engine. The one you, you're like number six is a fucking tender engine, isn't it? It's, you just realized. Yeah, it, it is. Isn't, isn't this this Pacific? Isn't there a um a North? I want to see like some paint schemes. Like, I want to see some paint schemes. To be honest. Yep. Yeah, we have a. They're oof ratch. Oof, oof. Oof. Right, so oof we might ratchet. want to move these the passenger cars ratchets. out of the siding before the end of the day because right. I don't know if we're going to have cars on that track. So they're going to need to be moved so they're out of the way. All right. I would suggest probably just dropping them over there on the main line. Um, I hear are, we, are you on a grade right now? Bit of a downgrade. It's mainly because of the turn. Yeah, feels like it. I'm just gonna have to run faster than. <laughs> you're running like you're running at like 30 miles an hour right now. That is the actual running speed, like 35 maybe. There's a 25 sign over for sure. Uh, yeah, that's the end. That's the end of the 25 zone. Ready to climb back up to 30? Uh, because then there's a corner up ahead. Goofy hacker two moment. Look out the window. What? What? Let me see. <laughs> you look out the window, you see someone yeah. running by. Oh, yeah. oh shoot! It rainy. We need sand. <laughs> we don't. Look, I'm running faster than your train. <laughs> Goofy hacker two moment. Although it, it's weird that the sky is pretty much still fairly clear to yeah. an extent despite the fact that it's raining that's why i want to see a weather oh, update man. oh my god they're probably going to work they're on it they just the final versus is pretty yeah oh you just got hit by the cylinder funny thing uh union pacific 844 killed someone with the cylinders nice some time ago <laughs> When some time ago. When did that happen? So apparently some stupid people were, you know, rail fanning beside the track, too close to the track. 
and one of those bitches was facing away from the engine, somehow didn't hear the fucking thundering engine at 3 miles an hour blaring its whistle and dinging a bell for the railroad crossing, got smacked in the head by the cylinder and cracked its skull open. Oof. What, like a coconut or...? Yeah, like what? a coconut. Like a coconut. Damn. Bonk. Just bonk. You heard about that, didn't you, Banks? Yeah. Time ago, I, like I, I it, it hit that. a, yeah, it hit a bitch at forty miles an hour. All right, I think here at Bryson, we're gonna, I'm gonna refill on water and coal for the number I two. Do. You know, I realized something, uh, Bank. If it was Sierra number three, like number two here, they would have probably been a harder bonk because it was, it has like that beam that extends to the size of a cylinder because of the cow catcher. Yeah. So it would be. Handrail, wooden beam, steel beam, cylinder head, and the sniffler, the cylinder, hitting them in the head. Also, in case you're wondering what the hell is a sniffler, it's that little piece of brass popping out the top of the cylinder. Little piece of brass? That? Yep. That thing on the front? Yep, on the front. That's called a sniffler. It sniffles. <laughs> it sniffles? <laughs> Mac Mac what Macaro for six Mac no Mac you 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 Tonic Tonic first. Safety last. Uh, that's what I said last time. Last time, uh, ask Banks what happened at running down the main line in first at 45 miles. Mm -hmm. Ask him. Uh, don't go. ask about it. We don't talk about that incident. We don't talk about that incident. When our the There you go. The, the cars have all locomotive. been re the cars have been renumbered. That I had derailed yeah. the brand new fucking locomotive. So all, all I'm waiting on is him to come back to Whittier Station to quickly hook up those um, observation cars. I feel and like I wanted to put my head inside the firebox for that day. Oh cool. yeah, I definitely... Dude, I just bought that brand new locomotive and you freaking bend it going 40. I'm like, hell, I was so pissed at you, bro. I wanted to kick you out of my server so badly for that. Oh, you have no clue how bad it was. Yeah, that was brand new as too. It was only one day old. Yeah, I'm very pissed at you for that one, but you know, it's all right. The sauna. It's re it's <laughs> sauna. Oh goodness gracious! The people have shown. All right, so. Yeah, so now right, we got the logging Mikado tank engine and basically would only be of any use as a shunting unit, basically. That's uh, I think it. you should slam on the fucking brake. Oh. Yeah, don't worry, I dumped the air. Right, so, I mean, I'm gonna a go... 2,000 gallon water oh, capacity is just not worth it. Like, you can't get much accomplished oh, with that. Friend. Doesn't sound like that's right, you know. That's what it right, says. Alright, you, you guys are Bryce The logging right tank right? Again, it is has a saddle 000. tank. Yeah. It's a basically saddle tank Percy. usually has less water. It's basically yeah, a Percy. Saddle, tank, <laughs> saddle <laughs> tanks usually have less water because tanks are smaller and thinner. Yeah. Because, you know, it wraps around the boiler. On the good but side, you have... The number, the number six is currently this new look one we just bought, so... Um, and for some yeah. reason, it's a fucking Pacific. <laughs> so, oh, <for> <laughs> oh, yep. It says on Google that it's only 2,000 normally on a real one. Yep, oh shit! And yeah, two eighteen. Bro, why am I sitting up? Bro, I'm literally sitting in the sitting in the cab of number six. But I'm sitting outside it. Like, what the heck? Yeah, it's a glitch in the game. I'm literally, I'm literally every time your, I literally, your character yeah, is is in it, but your uh, your actual where wow. you're at with it is because uh, I I've, I've got my character sitting in the switch around my game and. Uh, no, no, it, it's another it's... glitch. Oh, uh, yeah, but I mean, I had to run halfway across the map, map, no. map when I accidentally, uh, you know, took it off the track by accident. Uh, the glitch we're talking about is, so basically, 
uh, you are inside the cab in the first person, but the player model is not. And then when you go back in first person mode, the player model and the camera are outside of the cab. Like sometimes you'll go to look on the engine and your character is wall sitting in front of the cab door. And usually with butt crack oh, that's on top stuff. of the okay. fucking... And usually with his ass on top of the air pump. <laughs> okay, so... With the, the P-43... Oh. What's that There's another fitting and large that's well. air lo like large line that goes There's out? There's another switch to Is the water the, uh, all the way back here. That leads out Steady from the boiler, water. it seems, and goes like back and under the cabin and this. into the tender. Just oh, limit that. This one. Is that Just the water fill that. from the tender? We also need coal as well, because we only bought one point. There's a, that's why there's a coal tower right where we're going. Yeah, I was lined up to the coal tower. To the coal and we're tower. now we're lined up too. Jeez, the cars in the... <laughs> on the slam your throttle <laughs> open. I don't mind the fact that we're doing 38 in a yard. Uh, I hear the yard master yelling at us from the, the tower over there like, slow the fuck down your... <laughs> what yard master? We run him over earlier today. He's fucking dead in the back of the toolbox in the tent. <laughs> back of the toolbox? No, I think I'm too do, you know, like, too... do you know how creepy it would be if with Thomas and Tank Engine they uh -oh, actually had uh -oh, that the faces exactly. actually like popped open for them to clean the smoke? Like, they clean do. The smoke that box? is a canon thing. That is a canon thing. The Reverend confirmed them with the books. They do. Yeah, like, how creepy would that look in the freaking show, though? It is. It's like, oh, have, uh, like, say, like, there's... Gordon and James sitting at the station, Gordon sitting up, like, having it, like, his, his front end is... Oh, yeah, that video, James, right? He and then the his back. Yeah, and the face, I guess, and it's like, face turns around, and it's like... <laughs> well, there but was yeah, also the one the Victor that... Tanzig one with one of the shorts or something that he did. Yep. But, or no, yeah, it was one of his have, answers once, I think. About the smoke boxes, but, yeah. and, J and it's like James does it to Edward, and it's like Edward's like, "Don't do that again." <laughs> Funny thing is, th there's a book on the Ray Ray series that it's actually audio narrated, and it, it, like the driver, the fireman, opened his smoke box door. Yeah, I think it was like Henry. I guess it was about like Henry. I yeah, think it was Henry. And there's also uh, the the thing where the Henry sneezing kids, <laughs> you know, because of the coal. Yeah. Growing lumps of coal. Funny thing, Flying Scotsman had a similar encounter when it went to the US. Apparently, some kids were throwing lumps of Someone even fired a gun tender. On the return journey, the crew in the cabs started throwing lumps of coal at people flying side. Damn. Oh, there was clinkers in there. Okay. So they started throwing, like, lumps of coal. Yeah, they, they call those clinkers. I, I know because I got to uh, I got to drive Percy so up when it was up in uh, Minnesota. Sorry, you, I'm sorry, Percy. Oh, you mean like the out of Thomas that shit? Well, you know, it it was one of the engines dressed up like Percy, you know. Yeah, they had, it's the, the they had Thomas and Percy friend. there. Yeah, but basically, that uh, flying Scotsman went to the United the seventies, yeah. and I think uh, around New York area or something, they started. Someone even fired a gunshot at the tender. Oh, so, geez. you know, when they passed, yeah, they were doing a test run. Someone even fired a shot at the but on the run back, the crew, like, Pegler in the cab, like, three or four other people started throwing lumps of at the kids and teenagers of life to stop shooting at them. Yeah. Throwing rocks. Like, we never had hell? no problems like that. <laughs> hey. At least I, the, I worked up at the museum up in Duluth, and uh, when they were up there, they didn't. Their one of their drivers didn't show up, so I got to run it. That I uh, with stuff like that. That seems like the perfect excuse to have a paintball gun in the cab. Someone starts throwing <laughs> shit at you. You just start popping. You just start sending paintballs their way. <laughs> nah. No, and have it like have it crack, have it chronoed at like the uh, have like the, have it set at like the maximum friggin'. I think with base, like with base, rounds per minute. 
with like the basic thing they have it set to like they they say like generally with the rules itself with paintball is you are not to exceed 300 feet per second but a lot of fields do less than that the one that i would go to i think they would say they had it set at you are not allowed to shoot faster than 280 feet a second wow Still pretty like quick. that is the maximum like speed that like that the sh- uh, paintballs are allowed to come out at. Isn't so that imagine the, running the that. It's like oh, someone's like yeah, it's like some kid like it's like oh, you're on the locomotive. Some kids are throwing rocks at you. You just start popping off paintballs at them to te- like. To- <laughs> nah, just just pop the 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 hatch on the roof. Just pop out the gun, leaning out. Do a drive-by shooting with being Just on top of number six. Nah, just to shove in a fucking MG42 at this point. <laughs> out of the, the roof the roof hatch, just put a mount in there. Swivel yeah, I could stand in the freaking smokestack. <laughs> hey, also, it's actually kind of funny. No, you were actually standing in the smokestack, and you have not fallen down yet. <laughs> Again. I real life you would fall right down if you were standing right there. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be inside the smoke box. Leg. And you will probably break a leg or two because the there's like set one depending on the engine there's like up to f- tubes down there that do the exhausting. Yeah. You know, yeah. the the smoke box is not completely hollow. There are grates. There are tubes. There are the four exhaust pipes down there. Two to four. Depending on how many cylinders you have. Two to three to tens. Also, I don't get it. Why does number two have that little flap on top of the smokestack? Like you can close the smokestack. That seems stupid. I think it was probably because of like that at the time when they did those, they had those locomotives. It might have been that they might not have been really putting them, not necessarily storing them inside a building. Nah, I think this thing. So what they I probably they just, did uh, was like it was probably. By this point, uh, I missed the diamond stack on this thing. I wish it was the version of the diamond stack. Like, what they probably did was they would get up on top and flip that over when they would be parked to prevent, like, water, like, to prevent rain, snow, uh, or other debris but, from getting into mm-hmm. it while it's sitting. Talking about the door. Talking they also the used water. those for when they were, uh, when they had the coals banked when they sat overnight. There was oh, no reason for it Kept the weird fire down, but kept it hot. Yeah. The weird thing with the water situation and the breeze. Uh, uh, you're gonna yeah, have yeah. to take over the uh, the train because sure. I have to go. Sure. Uh, control zero. I'm in the cab. Don't worry. All right. Well, what I was going to say is, it's weird on the sense that, you know, you want to close it for no rain or debris. Uh, you would have to have it closed all the time because if it rains on the main line, you're gonna get rain down the stack anyway. Right. Yeah, but I'm yeah. talking, it's probably for like when it would be sitting and they're going to be like heavy rain and they don't want an excessive amount of water getting in there. But, but while the, the train's not in operation. I don't know about in England, but in America, they'd, pl- they'd have a, a unit up there that they could close because when you bank the coals at night, they won't, the coals don't burn, but they, you know, but they stay super hot. And that yeah. and when you can't smoke like when you don't get that extra air blowing through there, it doesn't burn the coal as I'm fast. I think from what I read in England, they leave like a small f- still in the fireball burning to keep it pressure in the morning. Right. And they do leave water in the as well. And most of the engines have around. Well, you want water in there. Cause so you, most of the if time, you, if you got nothing but steam in there, you're gonna blow that sucker up. Yeah, gonna go to boom, yeah. <laughs> yeah. As I like to call it, you're gonna have the forbidden spaghetti. Right. Yeah. Luckily, the forbidden I mean, spaghetti. Let me just say, like, Unluckily, they guys, like, they guys fill the boiler the with enough water, and it's like with it not really going, it won't. Yeah, it, you ch- and especially if you got that cap closed, it shouldn't do anything at all. So. You know, the like, the ca- like is, basically the coals will just smolder essentially. Uh, right. Exactly. Uh, yep. Uh, but then, as soon as you start raking them in the morning and open up the the yeah, vent, man. you'll get nice. They'll get hot really quickly. No stupid question. I don't know if it's even possible. You know, most of the time, boiler explosions goes out the front of the top. I wonder if that's possible to go out the fucking back of the cab and into the cab, well, as I, uh, in the tubes. It should be. Yeah. So you have to pray till you get the forbidden spaghetti out the front and not out the back. 
then you would probably be impaled by red hot piping. Yeah. Right. Anyway, on the question, where you got, where you got coming back to Ella? I am currently on my way to Governor's Island, just past right. mile post 63, doing precisely 29, 28 miles an hour. Heard. And I also can't see much out my cab because it's raining like a mother f down here. Yeah. So when you come to Bryce, I want, when you get to Whittier, I want you to disconnect the um, observation cars and we'll put them on my train and we'll re re uh, renumber them and all the jazz yeah, yeah. and yada yada. Yeah, so. Just went by one of the first crossings, Bella. All right. Well, you don't so have I need to... yet. If anyone wants to join me in the cab, that's perfectly fine. I'm sitting at one of the cabs, but where are you, Bright Blade? Uh... In per sitting in Percy's cab. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. You know, you know, on the coal man side. The coal on the coal man side, I'm the engineer. <laughs> That's fun. All right. I mean, I've watched the, uh, like, I really like, like kind of watching the uh, rail disaster videos from Thunderbolt 1000 Siren Productions. Yeah. Like he did one, uh, uh, one, one guy, uh, uh, uh an explosion of a steam train that was run by the Gettysburg Railroad. Oh yeah, that one. It's not really an explosion. It was like a steam. It's yeah. called basically. Mm, yeah, all because they didn't. And all because they weren't running the engine properly. It's like they didn't know how much no, water least, they had in the fuck in the boiler yeah, should, and all that. And just. You should check the video about the Tangy Y disaster. This train. The scrap yeah, from New Zealand. Seen, uh, yeah, I saw that one. I actually. That one was actually, that disaster was actually in an old a book that I, I don't know where my, I think my dad found it somewhere. It was a book on the like, yep, greatest she, disasters of the 20th century. Yep, train plummeting down a bridge. The, Titanic, uh, the Titanic disaster was one of the ones that was in there. The Tangy but that's not right. was also, was, uh, was one, another one that was in that. You want to know what I consider the greatest ship disaster of the 20th century? There's this ship called the Wilhelm Gustloff was a German ship that was used as a hospital ship in World War II, and it was evacuating civilians towards the end of the war. The Russians sank it with three torpedoes. The ship was carrying about 10,000 people, out of which 9,000 died. 9,000 plus, nobody really knows the full number. Anyways, I'm doing about 27, 28 miles an hour. Yep, I see you're going past Glob's Island right now. Governor's Island, yes. Yeah, like I know another one of like the disasters in it was uh, I think they had like they they like they had like one was definitely like I think like a flood from a dam collapse. I think, or it was like it was not the dam collapsing, but it was uh. Like the, the hillside collapsing into the reservoir and overcresting the dam. I think that was one of the ones in it. There was also like a the volcano or two. You know, I'm from of that. There was one. I think it was an island in the care. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know what happened. I'm to surprised the they didn't. I'm surprised they didn't mention the Hindenburg by now. That one actually was in there too, I believe. Oh, nice. What they didn't? They didn't, uh, they didn't mention the Edmund Fitzgerald. Oh yeah, oh, the Fitzgerald, I, I know that one. Yeah, that's uh, the one that sunk up on Lake Superior. Lake Superior, up yeah, like, they don't even like... due to the waves. Yeah. Literally. Apparently the accepted theory is that the a wave pushed the ship too far down into the ocean, uh, the, the lake, I mean, and the bow got caught up. It basically broke the ship's back. Boy. Yeah. That's why half of the ship is upside down. Union right. Pacific excursion trains. Well, I think like one of the theories also is that it uh, the hatches got knocked off from the wind from the waves, yeah. and then it flooded the hold, and because it flooded in such a way, 
it just it caused it to go down. Yeah, like, but the thing is that fury was kind of discarded in one sense because it doesn't explain how half of the ship is upside down. Yeah. I know that like I've oh. seen like one video like that there's uh, one wreck in one of the lakes that is like you are not allowed to dive anywhere near it. Oh, like yeah. it's actually a protected there's... like it's a protected thing and they have like buoys with sensors on them and if you go into that area like I think it's like have on the Canadian of side of the lake basically so like the Canadian Coast Guard will come after you if you, have you heard go of the into that Halifax area. Explosion? That also that actually was also in that book. Yep. Mass, the largest explosion caused by human beings before the atomic bomb. Yeah. Leveled the t entire town. Yep. Funny thing, a train dispatcher there saved lots of lives because there were several express trains coming into town at the time. He managed to telegraph them like one or two minutes before. And get them to you know, stop they before they board. actually came into town. Yeah. Well, so now yeah. we have six locomotives in total. There's also, you know, <laughs> besides the Titanic, there was also the Britannic, the yep. ship that sank in World War One due to the sea mine. I, I hate to tell you it wasn't the Titanic. No, I said the Britannic. No, no, I mean the Titanic wasn't the Titanic, it was their sister ship. Uh, no, no, don't, don't you even dare say that <laughs> to me, that's impossible. Uh, in the they're... first sense, that the letters were not... Uh, you know, bolted to the ship, they were etched with acid into the steel. The whole numbers are different. The yard numbers are there. Every single bit of documentation, insurance scam thing, it's absolute <laughs> bullshit, and it bothers every single well, story. I mean, I've also seen some about. ones that are like, uh, there was like one like people like, like to say the, it was uh, the U.S. Like had, sink the Olympic after that there was the collision that with sank, the cruise. Uh, that I like, sank that. It was because the U.S. government oh, basically right. was trying to screw over the company on purpose. Like, like it was a U.S. People, company, and it was like, I think it was like the SS Pacific or something like that. And like there was like a like, railroad museum. Like it, it is literally the the fury about the swap ships. Thing, it's literally impossible in so many levels. And the, I the see, whole... even even if there's enough proof to prove that, I still believe that. Uh... That he he had his hand in getting in making that thing sink. Every one of his competitors well, were on thing. that ship. No, that is a complete lie. Take a look at the passenger list. I have looked at the manifest, and a lot of them are on there. No, Cunard Line presidents were not on that ship. That's their main competitors. The Cunard Line were on that ship. Were there was John Jacob there Astor. Was plenty, there was plenty of there people was John that were. John Jacob that was a businessman. J.P. Morgan was not on that ship. J.P. Morgan bought the White Star Line. He was not on that ship. Let's see who else. We had uh, Isidore and Ida Straw. Macy, in New York, which had nothing to do with the thing. There's also the, the proof that it's the Titanic in the bottom of the ocean because they found about the ship lettering was perfectly etched. Not printed, not bolted. Etched inside into the side of the oh. whole Titanic. The Physically Collins impossible. line. Yeah, like, it's this just one, the like, the U.S. Extreme. government was. It's an extreme. Uh, sorry if this offends, but it's an extreme level of ignorance to take that as proof that they swapped the ship, because they would gain no benefit from it. Olympic was scrapped anyways in 1934. They were not the same ship. First things first, the blueprints. Olympic had a round bridge inside of the wheelhouse. They had a open ADAC promenade. They had more lifeboats after Titanic, so that proves another point. The interior designs were completely different in several spots of the ship. Hell, I think there's even like one thing, the propellers at the back of the ship being different, because it was testing the efficiency of the... So yeah, there were three ships, Titanic, Olympic, Britannic. Olympic had a collision with the HMS Hall, which was a British cruiser, and was sent for repairs. Titanic was launched shortly. Those repairs were finished and sank way too. Well, I, I do I do know one fact that you can't dispute. Leonardo DiCaprio's character did not go fishing in Lake 
Well, sort of. What uh, does his character does have to do? Does anyone know this oh, no, I mean, just, just, just the, it's, it's about the Titanic, and just because he there was that character didn't exist on the ship. Yeah, no, just... I, I live, I live, uh, I live in New Auburn, Wisconsin, which is like two hours away from Lake Wissota. Lake Wissota did not exist when the Titanic sank. I'm trying not to have an aneurysm with the whole uh, Olympic and Titanic being because. Uh, Oh, it's a, com it's a common uh, uh, it's con theory yeah, conspiracy theory. Conspiracy <laughs> theory that shouldn't even exist. Guy I'm leaves all because that... I told him that he has to he has to join the Discord to be able to draw to but, do yeah, like, train. The thing is, if you try to prove uh, the whole conspiracy theory of the swap is even offensive towards this whatever is left of the survivor's family. It's offensive in so many ways. The Next year, try to tell me that we actually landed on the moon and the, and the Earth ain't flat. I, I'm fucking with you, dude. <laughs> I swear to God, someone comes up with me like that. I may be young, but I know how to blow a fuse on myself and to have a stroke. Probably. <laughs> what about that? Like, was it uh, Neil Armstrong drinking? Punching a dude that confronted him about that's like, oh, just admit the, uh, admit the moon landings were fake, and he just knocked the fucking guy out, and he was in his like sixties at the time or something like that. Yep. That, the that, judge was embarrassed that. for the guy. Like he basically threw it out. That's like, oh, you ought to be embarrassed. Not the fact that, like, not only for the fact that you just basically came at an American hero like that, but you got knocked down by an old man. <laughs> yeah. What? What I always tried to find out or figure out about the the moon landing, and somebody finally explained it to me, yep. was how the hell was Neil Armstrong the first guy on the moon if the camera was there uh, filming him here? I guess they, they had, had a uh, they had, they had a rover a that was attached to the lower part of it, and that rover and the camera was on the rover. I think they actually had yeah. it on a boom that they lowered. It, it's a boom on the ro on the rover. Yeah. You know, I think that the most uh, crazy theories about the Titanic that there are there's the packed ice, the Olympic exchange, the deliberately sunk, closed water tides, fire, which is extreme bullshit, several senses, the expansion drill that people say caused the ship to break in half. Oh my gosh, some people just... The, the ship broke in half because of how far it raised up out of the water when yeah, the back was filled with water. Because it was not built for the stress. It was yeah, built right. very well. It overstressed yeah, the stress too much. More there, there's not many ships that can pull that far up out of the water you know, and it, not break back yeah, in that but, day. You know, the movie <laughs> says it went like 45 degrees. That's way too much. The ship broke it like 25 degrees out of the water because the stress became too much. Right. Yeah. That's enough to break it, yeah. <laughs> yep, and the movie, you know, they show it breaking top to bottom. The thing happened at the bottom plate of the whole double bottom, as it's called, bent upwards. Broke the backs of, back of the ship yeah. and literally shot the engine as a boiler three floors into the ship. Hmm. So then the sh that the whole thing just collapsed in itself. And be funny thing people don't know is Titanic didn't break in only two parts. It went it were parts. So you know the bow went down. Then the two towers, as they called four tower, the aft tower, which were a space in between the bow and the really? stern. Really? Oh, shit, we have fog now, bro. Seriously, yeah, yeah, fog. I, I see that. <laughs> yeah, the, the two towers thing is when the ship broke in half. So. The the two front funnel went down with the bow. The third funnel went down with the superstructure and a bit of the hole. And then just, yeah, right after I'm that, I'm why we have we ended up talking about the Titanic the entire time. <laughs> I don't but because I, I was having a stroke with the uh, swap theory that that just gave me an aneurysm. I think I, <laughs> I mean, right, there's also up. like I was like, what was the <laughs> egregious thing? Was like the uh, the Collins line. The U.S. government basically uh, yeah. set them up to fail. They set them up for the accidents that they had with their ships going down. Because they were basically forced to run flat out all the time. Like, they were forced to run on ridiculous timetables that were not safe. Like, forcing the ships to move at speeds that were not safe for the conditions that they were running in at the times that these accidents occurred. That these things occurred and people died as a result of them being forced to 
Oh yeah, though. Travel at high people. speeds when it was not safe for them to be traveling at those speeds. That they should have been going a lot slower. But because they had to keep up that speed or they would lose out on money that they needed to keep running, the government basically the, screwed them over into killing people. There's also the other accident, the Empress of Ireland. You know that. Oh, come on. <laughs> Speaking of accidents, no. What was the Massive one that I was hole. in the... Uh, what was the one that happened in, like, it was like in St. Lawrence Seaway or something? The ship went down in like 13 minutes. I do. Like, it started going down and then it sank. Like, it was just, it was down in 13 minutes. I mean, there was a ship that sank in like less than 30 seconds, I think. In a lake. I, mean, I know there was also I the thought... one in like the Great Lakes. It was I think with the, I... they had it at Chicago, and because like they made alterations to the ship from what it was originally, so it was like completely unstable, and like they had just so many people on it, they were going to like a company picnic or something like that, and it went down I... right at the dockside, basically. Like it actually it healed over and s sank right at the dockside. Hey, I'm gonna grab the rear uh, observation coach off your end, and then you can bring the one that you're connected to. And push it to There's the also, end. have you heard of a thing? Uh, it's people often call it the 18 minutes of terror, the Lusitania. <laughs> I was searching for because I was I was trying to remember the name of the boat that I was looking okay, for. Actually, this one. And, Lusitania. and Lusitania is actually sitting right here in front of me. The they got torpedoed by a German U-boat. They sank in right. eighteen but minutes. But there was uh, there was a ship during World War Two that got sunk by, I think it was a French submarine, but it was a it was like an American or German or it was one it was Allied ship anyway, but it wasn't you know a warship. It was a a merchant oh, ship. And I can't remember what it was, but I don't see it on here. It doesn't want to tell right. me. All right, so these new coaches have been. Like the uh, the observation coaches have been renumbered to two hundred and two oh seven. All right, okay. hey, how number, the heck do you do that? Number two, bring the observation car that's at your end and put it to the end of my train. I'll grab the one that's at my end and I'll go ahead and grab it here in just a second. I'm backing up right now into that way as well. Four hundred and ninety three nice. dollars. Nice. <laughs> You're welcome. Nice. Very good, sir. Um, watch the money break in the moment we start running this larger passenger train. Especially running uh, to Silva. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, oh. I'm going to go run towards Silva when we get the next thing. And I mean, once so you we get have. Silva open. <laughs> not yet. We're going to do that after we have the interchange service here. Because, oh. because there's cars currently up here. If I if I purchase Silva, it unlocks no, the. I have uh, an idea. It unlocks we're going. Silva as the interchange, so then these cars will have to be transported all the way down there. And I don't feel like having that done right we're now. we're going to run the first Good passenger. Because we're going to run the first new train tomorrow. We should do it like this: like all the crew rides on the passenger cars, and someone drives it, so we can enjoy the first run. Like as a yeah. celebration or some shit. Well, I'm thinking oh, that we're going to do the first. I, I yeah, what I'm thinking like for the first passenger <laughs> run. With that train, is yeah, after the air is five served, miles an hour. We will purchase. I was, going, I was going ten miles per hour, and this is what happened. Yeah, you Dude. should really stay down to five, but whatever. Uh, what at least he, at least we didn't do the oil tanker at twenty miles an hour to the back of the tender. <laughs> at least it wasn't that. Yeah, well, you knocked it down to three percent health. <laughs> right, is there, are there seriously Take it back and fix it. Holy <laughs> shit! I'm not. Oh fuck! No, I have to go repair that one now. And, and can someone off. also change the paint scheme on the cars that I just coupled? Yeah. I was gonna say he'll have to do it because I, I I've already asked how to do it. Nobody told me. But oh, yeah, because I have to do it. Missions. We're not privileged. Yeah, we're not. Well, I, I wanna we're... I wanna change them on my map. Oh, I don't yeah. like the numbers. Because I the what train. you do is you do oh, the and you control click on the car, you go to equipment and then customize. Yeah, 
and then you can change the road number to reporting mark or the text and the base oh, color and Oh, okay. Color. I see that now. Okay. I guess I'm going to have to take this this specific one to the... Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to take this one to the uh, repair shop. Yeah, and you also damage the Pacific's tender, too. That much. 68%. I damaged... I damaged the tender, not the engine itself. Brand new fucking locomotive. We can just use Gordon to run this train if in case. Yeah, I'm gonna take all these. I'm gonna take no, this. No, like, uh... they should be repaired. Like, they should get repaired within the night. But those passenger coaches are in the way of you going back to, and running around. And that's why I'm trying to way. pull it. Yeah. I'm but just... if you don't close the angle cocks, I won't be able to go anywhere. Alright. Uh, I'm just trying to think. Uh, where are we going to? Because right now we have number not, three not and number four sitting in the repair shed. Just because it's like that way there. Like because they're there. Do you not have uh, Also, the you area do realize the train is slowly up? rolling backwards, right? You know what? I want to move number four onto... Number four you is do actually realize the train is slowly the rolling backwards. I'm actually going to put number four right on the... Uh, on the siding track leading back to the interchange. The passenger cars are rolling back for yeah. Get them! Turn that a break on! Me. I am not currently in that position because I'm in taking the, the, the observation. Not not the observation, the, the break of cars away. Okay, give me a second to... Uh... Yeah, as soon as possible, we don't want to run away with the brand new... Oh, I'm way up the track with the with the other person. So I gotta run back. Yes, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go back to if we're unlocking Silva, I have to go run all the way back to Silva anyway to start the passenger run, so my special coach. I need that observation car connected. Did you get the observation car on my train connected yes. to the end? Uh, yes. Alright. I really don't Just need maybe. this observation car at the end of my train the front of my train right now because to be honest I don't need it so I'm just running back and forth but when I go when I got to Andrews up there I'm gonna have to turn around so we're just a break on this thing nothing so this else will just connect the air gives you the gauge blah 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 okay are you are you using number I'm I don't know getting, what's going uh, on all I know is probably Right now, who's, I am getting number who's three. Number three. I am. I'm moving it out of the shed, getting it out from the shed, and actually going to be getting it ready to be able to move these locking cars onto the side and get them out of the way. I released the air on 207, so it stopped because I couldn't find a brake. Those. Do you? I'm sure they got. Okay. They've got one. I they just couldn't not. find it. Where are you going? No, they oh. do not have a mod. All right. Oh, they don't. Okay. Take these cars away. Oh well. I give me a sec. I gotta move number four because he's. I need to repair some of these coaches, so I'm just driving to the shed. All right. Hard move forward. Twenty degree. Twenty. Connect that up to those. Okay, you're not going to be out of it. Give me lets you run so darn fast. I'm not. I'm not sh sure if I say should say a re ba re yee ha yee ha or or go or make a beep beep noise. Are you having a stroke? No, I'm making a joke about the Roadrunner <laughs> or... I uh, didn't understand what you said, and I, I that, that's usually what I oh. say when I don't understand the joke of what someone said, I just say... Are oh, you no, I see. Oop. That was wrong. <laughs> I'll, I'll, take, I'll take care of this way. Yeah, I need no, to get this... No, I, uh, I accidentally said him the wrong... I said... I was giving orders to the wrong train. <laughs> don't you love that? I was meaning to send, uh, I was meaning to send number three forward to couple the car the logging cars you're gonna you're gonna put those on the site on the diamond or 
No, those oh, are actually going to go. Those are actually going to go into the. Uh, they're also going to go onto the end of the siding here at the sawmill. Like, uh, oh, down at this end here. Yeah, they're just going to go onto the like the. Like what, just, down, down by the down on the track behind the the coal cars, right? No. No. The logging cars are going right over here on the sawmill siding. I had them on the main line right? because like, I only had them on the main line because we weren't using the main line. But the fact that we're going to be what purchasing the track to Silva in the morning after the interchange, I need to clear the main line so that the passenger train can go through. Wait, no, I got well, you. I, need, I, need to go I was just trying to help. I need to go repair this um, observation car as well on my way back. So Yeah. Oh, why is... Why is the, my rear angle cocked open? Uh, so, what am I supposed to do? Well, and where? This? I got okay. it. I, I, I opened the one on 207 so I'd quit, so I'd run. Or, you know, so, so I'd quit moving. Quick question, Chaos. What am yeah. I supposed to do with the back half of my train? Uh. Well, you only. Like, let's. Let's see what the repair status is on what's currently in there. 76, One hour. 99. Um, if you want to, use number four and push those into the uh, other section. But... Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, I'm blocking half the track. Uh, manual. Thank you. What people actually use manual? <laughs> I don't know why there's a fuse right on my line. Well, I haven't moved yet. Where? Which one? Uh, on my line. Which line is that? Where's? You talking um, up no. there by Weather? I'm right here at the station. Of, um, here and it's right under my. 201 car. There's a fuse here. I don't know who placed it. Yeah, it was there when I tried to stop the car. Yeah, uh, Banks put it there. I must have accidentally put it there then. It's alright. Yeah. Alright. Now we have gotten every car emptied from air. Now I'm going on. What's coming to. Is anyone coming down the main line at the moment? Down here in Wither Yard. There we go. Uh, well, it's gonna we're just okay, coming. So we're coming up to the. All right. I was just gonna bring one car to go get repaired, so yeah. that needs. Yeah, we're That's we're on the inner track. All right. Cool. All right. Release. Huh. Nobody even pushed this thing all the way back, so it so it unloaded all the cars, did they? Uh, why? Did you? Why did you disconnect? My train. Were you just trying to move? Were you just going to move that one car? Just we can leave those there no, for right now. No, I mean, you only need to. Where are you taking it? Don't, uh, don't touch the train. I was taking the entire train that way because I got to go to Silva anyway to start the run. I'm not starting from here, so I have to take back the this one right here, the first, the 200. Don't. I'm bringing it all back along with me. I'm taking it, leaving it on the main line, going to on the other line, throwing it in the repair shed, taking it on my train, going straight to Silva. I'm not, not, yeah, I'm not, I don't know who clicked my tender, but yeah, that's. All right. I know it wasn't me because I'm down here at the sawmill. Okay, let's I know. I'm just. I'm just dealing with people who don't know how to uh, apparently make a train run. I don't know. All right. right now, I'm not, for some reason, if I pulled for it, I bet you it's going to disconnect. Yeah. I know. I'm going to go back. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Is that clear enough? I don't touch my train. Ever. Um. As long as you're where the track starts to go a little bit straight, you're fine. Uh, push it back a little further, about another half a car. 
Yeah, I, I want to avoid having these cars into the side, like fully into the siding. So we don't have. Right, but you want enough so you can get by, right? Yes. So. Let's yeah, you want to push it back about half, otherwise you're gonna hit somebody when you come hit the last car before you come through. Yeah, because I want to like. And I'll probably just put I'll probably just put number three on that siding going down that section of track that goes down to the sidings themselves. Oh, nothing wrong with that. Because then that way it'll just be so out of the way I, for the time being. Right. Why is it taking forever to? Okay, now all the air has been released out of my train. Now can I go? Yes, apparently. Ah. Do you want me to? You want me to go uh, hook the airlines up and the and the angle back so you got enough room to push that? Or so you got enough power to push that back? Paul, huh, what you talking about? The the log train. Right there. That uh, should hey, be. Quick question. Uh, chaos. Do you yeah. mind if I take the empty popper to the to the interchange? Um. Sure. Well, if we're not if we're waiting till morning to change everything, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, because the empty uh, co hopper needs to be refilled. Re yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, but one empty hopper doesn't mean that you can't use the chute. Uh, right? Yeah, no, you should use the chute. Yeah, and the chute only has two tons, so I have to swap hoppers anyway. No, you don't. Uh, no, no, you don't. They both fit. No, you don't. In a way. Uh, they both fit. That's the thing. Yeah. Okay, oh. so that's oh, like fun. You okay. So that like should be swap. clear enough for the track. So now I, there won't be any interference, and that one lot, that one car won't be. The last cars that I, I don't won't get off. Okay. Yeah. I, I, okay. So yeah. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. It shouldn't interfere with me coming through to drop off. Okay. I, I see. Okay. Yeah, you're fine now with the log cars. So. Right, it's good. not gonna. It's yeah, not gonna. I just wanted, so. like, wanted them out of the way. And then when these other yeah. cars no, that's empty perfect. out, this whole thing will just be pulled out. The empty cars will be shifted forward, dropped, and then the loaded cars will be pushed in back into place. Right. All right. So. See what I. This just what I do. It's not necessarily the correct thing to do, but when I have two trains running logs, I always push one. One back down onto that interchange track, you know, like back behind where the where Henry is now. Yeah. And then then, then I'll pull that other train out and take it down to the to num to log two, and then push the other one back in. Works pretty good. Okay, so, so but everybody's got so a different number way two of doing is fully things, repaired. Uh, one car. I got the empty hopper out. We got one car fully repaired. I mean, all all mind the track. What's on number two is already mind the fully track. repaired. So there's three hours. Mind the track. There's something on the track. Stop. Why is it on the track? Why is this on because the track? Because he was I'm switching. Gonna it off. That's why. They were switching so we can out the, the coal loader cars. Yeah, but because we don't we, need. To. I was. We need to take that one to the interchange. That's why I'm doing. And what? we also need okay, to get well, number two out of the shed because it is because it is finished being repaired, so we can at least so we can free yes. up for that. I'll quickly take that hopper out of the way. I'll take it out as fast as I can. Because everything see, is out. It's all past repair. Getting repaired at the moment. Yeah. So I only need I only need the one operation car. Uh, yeah, so like, nice, but... let's get the like let's get those passenger cars out of the shed. We'll get the observation car and t and number six's tender fixed, and yeah, then we can put those other ones day. back in because those cars are probably just going to be shifted onto the siding there at the at what is the current interchange until they're needed. Let me just clear the take this. Yeah, unless I'm we want to have the, unless we want to have them run up to Bryson with the freight load and drop there at the yard. Uh, chaos, can you line me up to the entry? Uh, what me? No, chaos. Yes. Uh, oh. 
that's yeah. your that's able to your engine. So who's pulling out the passenger cars? I am currently with number four hopper car. I know. You're doing freight. Passenger, I don't know what you're doing. And I'm doing a bit of shunting jobs. I was putting those cars in the switch. You're fine. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out who's pulling out these passenger cars so I can put my... So I need Yo. to put myself plus Right. You need, you need to move forward for that. Alright, I'll move forward here. Because you're 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 the block and the switch that I got to go out on if I take it out. All right, so go uh, go about ten or twenty. How's that? Yeah, I'll just I'm going if it will move forward. Yeah, when you're ready. My train just don't want to move forward for some reason. There it goes. Yeah, I get that. I get that once in a while on mind games. That Let's is see. so close by a millimeter. So there's a difference. Oh, that is like so sketchy. I would not try that in real life. <laughs> okay, number four is clear with Where? the hopper. It's ready to be loaded. So you gotta take number also, three please, and use it to move those cars? Who, whoever's not using headlights, just turn them up. That's a shit that... Alright, I have opened up space. I'm currently blocking the main line if anyone needs to come down it, so... Let me know. Number, um... Who's taking up passenger cars? Number three, I guess you're pulling up passenger cars. I don't know. I was getting ready to pull out two here. Hey, uh, you might have been a bit uh, silly with the taking number three because I could have just brought forward number five and done it without you having to pull him all the way there. It really doesn't matter. Well, I've got control on number five, number three, so. <laughs> Once we have one the space, there's a spot. I mean, we need a. I need. We need to get to the roundhouse. That's what these engines in the roundhouse. That's what's up at Bryson. <laughs> oh, that's no. It's brightly on the cap. Yeah. Okay. I'll keep an eye on the switch over. Hello, Edward. I guess you're taking two cars for yourself. Bye. Have fun. All right. You're gonna do a lot of. Work. I'm just stuff. gonna. I'm just gonna go up to this next switch. Flip it. Oh shoot! We got it. I got number three here. Yeah, we well, also got number six further up. I don't think. Okay, well, I need well, I need gonna... enough room to get. We just cleared the first. Were you to get here on down? three. All right, I'll back down. Yeah, I was gonna say who was doing number three? Number three right now. Thank I you. am. Switch it uh, done. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I was talking about the parts who needs to. Passenger cars out, then I can pull out and get out of your way. All right. So, are you? Were you backing up to put those on to move those onto the main line? Um, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna put them out on the main main All line. All right. Well, once you get over on the main line, I'm gonna take those other cars out. Or you're lined in the main over here. Or should I just okay. leave them? Actually, I'll leave them there because I think they probably there should be enough track to actually fix. If you push this is too yeah. far. Like so if you push the observation car and fender in, it should fix. So Yeah, uh, it should. Bright blade, you're clear to move forward. Yeah, I was uh I think I gotta I gotta switch the the track. I, just, I, just I did didn't that. see it was against me. You are on the main line. You're aligned to the main. For here, come over. Okay, he's gotta back it up. Oh, he's backing it up. Yeah, and then we go on the main line here. Okay, let's do that. Uh, switch. I'll get that for you. Okay. Stop. Right. Forwards. Good to go. Good to go, number two. Uh, you okay. should, uh, Chaos, you should step off the track. Don't worry, I'll run him over. <laughs> Make sure someone flips the switch before I go past. Uh, I will. I'll flip it over. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we'll flip it off as we go by. Back it up. Where do you want number two? 
Uh, just put number two down the main for now. Okay. Figure that out. Moment. Probably beside those box cars up ahead. You see, there's no to way me. to get. Yeah, there's no other way to get into the, the interchange for now. One. Well, I could have went all the way down to the other end and come back in, but yeah. Just yeah. let me quickly throw my engine in there so we can skip days, and then we'll figure it out. That's pretty much yeah. all we can. Yeah. So you're gonna put the uh, you're gonna put the new coaches right up next to the yeah. engine shed, then I guess, and then back the observation coach in. I mean, that's, that's what I was thinking. Of, like, that's the best way to do it. That's what I was doing, thinking of doing it as. Yeah. And you got a lot of passenger cars. <laughs> And it, it, it is meant for the main the, the main stations and stuff. So. Right, I've I'm only I've only got Bryson open and uh, I only run two cars on my on my lines with the ten wheeler. Yeah, well, I think after we get these in position, there's a passenger car here that's free free fucking percent. Dang, that's bad. Uh, it's it'll, 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 it'll fully repair by the time we're. Uh, yeah, it will, but you know, it's still pretty you bad. Have, you have to get it with that. Okay. It was, pro it was probably already very low as it was when we got when I got it, so there was no way. Right. No. I get that. Okay. Uh, first things first. Stop your train. Uh, thanks. There's why did that. you just? Why did you because, unhook? Why did because, you unhook my train? Bro? Look at the palace car that we're putting behind you. Yes, I know. Okay, I need that. Right, so you can pull forward yeah, down and then back down, down the wall, oh. back down the switch. That's what exactly. I wish, I wish you. I wish you would just leave, leave it. I wish just people would just. Uh... Anyhow, I'm just helping you so you can <laughs> focus on the driving. And okay, my ADHD, fuck it. Fuck my ADHD, man. It gives me. It gives me. It gives All me. Right, you're back that, down. That's what the conductor is for, is to help you, man. <laughs> yeah. I <ain't> got... <laughs> Yeah, so I'm, do I'm doing the conducting for like five different people at the same time. Oh, right, I get that. And I'm hanging in thin air. It looks like you're actually standing on the stairs, but... No, look at this. No, side. his feet aren't even touching the stairs. Oh, guess not, okay. From and my angle, it looked like you were... And I'm holding to the... <laughs> yeah, now I see it. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're doing. So right, by the so way, are yeah. you gonna be my are you gonna be my breaking out of Fred? Sure. Or sure. Or we or we do okay. Fair enough. Yeah, keep going. About I know how much room I have. I'm going at three point four miles per hour. Uh someone don't forget to set the repair station on those cars. Uh they will automatically repair as long as they're on the track. I was gonna say that as long as you're in the building it'll or at least partially in the building you're good. Yeah, so just uh, keep it coming back a little further. You need to get the tender in the awesome. building. Yeah, I know, I know. Well, actually, actually, I know. You're only about a quarter of a car or a third of a car into the tent, into the building. Right. Yeah, I know. That's I'll do a dangerous just, trick. If you go full brake right about the last uh, spot, if you don't go flying, yeah, you it'll you got more than enough room to brake. There we go. There you go. Yeah. Yep. I, that I, should work. Let me. See. And the one Ooh, problem with. The, yeah, that's the one problem with the repair shed. If you had cars sticking, like if you had a train where it was sticking completely through both ends on like both tracks, I did. you would not, you would be stuck. I did. Go, in, go into the passenger car. Yeah. Mm. Then out the back. There yeah, we exactly. go. Exactly. Alright, skip day's left. time. Woohoo! It's going to take 14 hours to fix everything. Yeah, no wonder. Hey, you're another uh, repair guy. Yeah. I, I won't. Ru I won't run that. I won't run that. Uh, the tender will be. The tender will be ready, but I won't. I won't take me be taking the um, observation but, car with me. Right, but if you if you hired a repair guy, uh, and then fired him in the morning, it would have. Uh, you would have had enough to get it clean or get it fixed in less time. But yeah. Let's see. What was the right, condition is ninety three percent. So, yeah, that's that's only twenty two percent. So I'm sorry, you didn't get performance left on that. <clears throat> Let me see how much for the, how long until it's fully fit. Let me see. Uh, Nine hours. Yeah. I mean, it's still gosh. midnight, so we should be fine. 
Oh, well then, why why do we not go to this whole day? Why should we run a passenger train at midnight 35? I was just advancing at 4 to do some things, to check some things. Okay, so... Yeah. That one set of cars like, just is just about ready to be emptied out. Uh, hey, uh, the, you know, the observation car will be ready by 9. By 9 a.m. <laughs> so that's past the rush hour hours, basically. But then we can get the midday rush hour. Yeah. Those other two cars, or like those other... Oh, I mean, it is just about 5 o'clock. So... I really need to be getting off. Because I have to get some sleep because I have a delivery tonight that I got to make. Which was supposed to happen today, but didn't because... Well, because my first stop that I had last night that I had to go to, I got there just before 11 o'clock. I didn't leave until 7 a.m. Oh, disconnect. Goodbye. So... <laughs> So no running passengers today. Sad. Alright. But, um, I probably, I'm, oh, what day is it? Oh, I'm gonna have to go down to Chicago here soon to go home, too. Let me check this, see, this auto save real quick. Okay, where was... This was before all that, okay. I'm gonna delete that one. All right, well, I have to get off.